Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? This is Sammy Lager here representing Team JVS, here to give you guys another movie review. This is straight from TIFF 2023, here to talk to you about The Burial. Ariel has been picked up by Amazon, and it is, like some of the other films we've seen on site in Toronto, a comedy, but it also is a drama, and it's also got an amazing supporting cast. This is directed by Maggie Beats. Um, this is starring Jamie Foxx, Tommy Lee Jones, Alan Rook, um, Journey Smollett, Marmara Adu, uh, Athy, Pamela Reed, Bill Camp, Amanda Warren. This is a huge cast. Heck, Pamela Reed, I haven't seen her since Kindergarten Cop. And Alan Rook, in and of itself, like, has been in almost everything. Marmara Adu has been in so many brand new things, and he's such a talented actor. Um, but let's go ahead and kind of lay the line on what this actually is surrounding. This is surrounding Jeremiah O'Keefe. Jeremiah has inherited over the years um, his family's uh, mortuary. So they have funeral homes, like I think about maybe six or seven different funeral homes. And he's been running into some financial issues. And so he's been trying to figure out how he can be able to retain maybe three of them. And he goes to Bill Camp's character, Ray Lowen. Now, Ray Lowen has a, <laughs> I want to say a billion dollar um, mortuary corporation. And he's honestly untrustworthy but he feels as though Tommy Jones character Jeremiah feels like he doesn't have much choice and so he trusts this man to do his end of the bargain and of course he does not and then of course it's either one go towards Mike who's played by Alan Rook which is his longtime friend and lawyer or find someone that wins and wins as in Jamie Foxx, Willie Gray. Willie Gray has never lost a case. And this is based on true events, but they make it very funny and engaging. Um, and there's a lot of different things going on um, in terms of discrimination and race and family and injustice and trying to reconcile what is needing to be done to preserve um, Tommy Lee Jones' family, essentially, and their legacy. Um, this is a really, this is a really interesting film. Um, I actually really enjoyed it, um, but for different reasons. I, I'll say that at times this film <laughs> comes off very campy, um, like very, very, um, <laughs> I, I, I rest is kind of like, there, there was some 90s movies that used to come out like, um, some amazing black actors and like filmmakers and cast. And this kind of reminds me a lot of that with certain moments, specifically everything to do with Jamie Foxx's team and everything surrounding it. Um, but there are other things about this I feel like people will really appreciate, um, specifically with Willie Gray, when you get down to the meat and potatoes of kind of what, what makes him tick, who he really is. Um, and then, Tommy Lee Jones' character, Jeremiah, like, he's an uncompromising soul. Like, he's a beautiful soul, um, but he's depending on this black man to represent him within a location because that location is primarily black, so they can have a black juror, and so it's kind of like a, a credibility standpoint, and it is this interesting back and forth that kind of happens um, where it isn't even about... The money anymore it's about the principle of what's really happening and then injustices that are actually happening um i love seeing the metamorphosis of a character like uh willie like seeing him go from where he starts in the beginning of this to kind of where he ends um is very fascinating like i really do appreciate like how they took care with the relationship between jeremiah and willie but even more than that uh mama Redu's character how um dawkins He's so smart and so young and engaging. I would have loved to see more with him, but he also is a very big, big little centerpiece of this film. Um, and, and even like the relationship between Tommy Lee Jones and Pamela Reed's, uh, like his, his wife, like it, it, the relationships and the way that things are pushed off on each other, like is really good. And, and even in the courtroom, the courtroom scenes like Journey, and Jamie really go at it. Like they are so in it. And it's weird because Jamie's character is so theatrical. Like it's not believable most of the time, which is why I know some people count this as kind of really cringy and 
like unrecognizable and like how could this even work and it's like he's he's making a mockery of somebody like johnny cochran but i i, I really did enjoy it. i think on the surface level you kind of look at the trailer and you kind of like oh no this is comedy for the sake of comedy and it is at times but i think it's very a fine line of good entertainment but it seems at times some really good heart and even with journey samalat's character mamie um <laughs> she's so intense uh, and I think she's an amazing actress in general, but I think that they do utilize her pretty well. Um, I think it's just trying to reconcile whether or not this is a recommended comedy or if this is more of a comedy drama. I think it's more of a drama first before comedy, but it wouldn't seem like that in the first 20 minutes, of it, which is why it's hard for me to kind of rate this. Because at the very beginning, like I was just like, this is just a flat comedy. Like I don't, I don't believe anything that's happening right now. Um, anything connected to Willie Gray. That's, I'll just say it like that. But they, they do allow for great groundwork when it comes to racial discrimination, um, tethered lines of communication and understanding of oneself. Um, I did find it really weird with Amanda Warren. Not to say that Amanda Warren did a good job. She's a great job. Uh, like her scenes with Jamie are just so they they get along way too well like they got natural chemistry like that's the same same thing about pamela and tommy but like gloria and willie love each other for real for real and you feel it all the way throughout the movie but it's weird because when you get a gauge of kind of like where they kind of come from from a money standpoint it just they're unapproachable because of that um but i guess it's also based on true events um bill camp plays the role of Ray very well. I think that the movie really starts to hit its stride in the third act. That's when it starts getting really interesting and I started to get really invested. But I do think that it's a decent enough comedy drama that you, you can get something out of it. I rated it like maybe a B. I actually would watch this again with like family members um, just from an entertainment standpoint, but do know, don't take it too seriously. That is not how they're playing this. And if you do, you may kind of get taken out of it. Like, this is cringy, this is so unbelievable. If you allow yourself to just kind of just coast, I think you're gonna have a great time with the barrier. And I think you're gonna get something important and essential out of it as well which i don't want to spoil any of that here let me know what you guys think of the burial make sure you like subscribe hit the bell button thank you guys so much for watching peace guys